Good morning, Jennifer. How are you today? Good morning, Peter. I am doing well. And you? I'm great, thank you. I need help planning my vacation. Sure, where would you like to go? I haven't decided where to go yet. I should like to go to the hills for a change. Do you enjoy warm or cold climates? I am thinking that I might enjoy a tropical climate. Which type of travel do you think you would like the best? A train ride across the country. How much money is in your budget for this trip? I didn't hear you. Please could you tell me again? Do you know how much you want to spend on this vacation? I have about $2,000 to spend on this trip. I can give you some brochures that could give you some ideas. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Which method of travel do you consider safest? Well, in my opinion, traveling by train is the safest. I've never had a passport before and need to know what to do to get one. Apply for your passport several months before your trip. You can download an application. After I fill it out, where do I take it? You need to go to a passport agency in your city. They will help you process it. Is the application the only thing that I will need to bring? The passport website lets you know what types of identification and pictures you must provide. You need one 2 inches by 2 inches color passport photo. What if I am going to a country that requires a visa? The requirements for a visa vary from country to country. It is important you have an understanding of the country's various visa types and requirements, as they will vary drastically depending on whether you wish to travel as a temporary or permanent visitor. I don't know how much luggage I can take on the plane with me. Airlines enforce all size and weight limits much more strictly now than in the past. You need to look up each individual airline online to get their restrictions. I just wonder what the general rules are. In the USA, if you fly economy on a domestic flight, you usually have to pay for checked baggage. What about international flights? On international flights, you usually have a two-bag limit with weight restrictions. What about carry-on bags? All airlines will allow you to bring one small carry-on that will fit under the seat. International airlines may have different restrictions for carry-on luggage. Do you have any words of wisdom for travelers in regard to luggage? Keep it light in regard to what you pack. Figure out what you absolutely need and leave the rest at home. What do you think is the most important thing to remember when packing for a trip? Pack lightly. You don't want to haul around or pay fees on things that aren't essential. Do you like to travel? Definitely. I would like to visit different places, experience other cultures and try different food and dishes. Where did you go on your last holiday? I went to Milan. It is in the north part of Italy. Wow, that's great. I've never been to Italy. Who did you go with? I went there with my wife last year. We wanted to relax, and also go shopping. Sounds good. How long did you stay? 
We stayed there for almost nine days. Isn't it expensive there? I've heard it's really expensive in Italy. It depends on which city you go to. In the north part of Italy, it's not that expensive compared to Rome, for example. Rome is an expensive city. What's the best place you've ever visited? The best place I have visited so far is Maldives. Who makes travel decisions in your family? Sometimes it's me. Sometimes it's my wife who makes travel decisions. Actually, my friends suggested to go to Italy and we decided to join them. Was that your first time in Italy? Well, we go to Italy twice a year. Twice a year? Wow, that's quite often, actually. And why do you prefer going to Italy that often? I like going to Italy because of the culture and the distance. It only takes us four hours to get there by plane. I see. Do you prefer visiting other countries or traveling in France? I prefer both. I think there are really beautiful places in France. Have you been to Spain? Yes, I went there in July last year. Which city did you visit? We went to Madrid. Has travel become safer in recent years? I think so. With the presence of modern technology, I think travel has become safer in recent years. How important is eating well to you when you are on vacation? Just give me food, so I can keep going. What countries would you like to visit in the future? I want to go to Norway next year. What are the pros and cons of low-cost air travel? Low-cost air travel allows us to save money. However, with low-cost air travel, our convenience and comfort may suffer. Do you prefer going on a package tour or a tour you organize and book yourself? I prefer to organize everything myself. If you choose a travel agency, it is more expensive than doing it yourself, and it is not that flexible. Yes, you're right. Do you usually travel with a lot of luggage or do you like to travel light? It depends on which country I'm going to. When I went to Italy, I bought some Italian cosmetics. Great! So was it expensive? It depends on the brand. Local brands are not very expensive. What type of vacation activity sounds like the most fun? Skiing down a mountain. What kind of holidays do you like? Do you like warm or cold weather? I like summer holidays. Holidays for me are just for relaxing, spending time with my family, and shopping as well. What is the longest journey you've ever made? I usually travel for about three weeks, sometimes even one. I've been to Germany, Portugal and Ireland and I spent three weeks in each country. Who do you prefer to take vacations with? I prefer taking vacations with my close family. What's the best place you've been to? Definitely Asia. I love Japan and South Korea. I hope to have the opportunity to visit other Asian countries in the future. How often do you take short trips? I take a short trip once a year. Who in your family travels the most? I like traveling the most, but maybe my parents. After their retirement, they travel several times a year. 
What was the last place your parents visited? They went to Greece several months ago. Last month they went to a city in France with beautiful natural scenery. Do you have any plans for the summer? No, I don't have plans for the summer, but I'm going to Australia in October. Which cities are you going to visit in Australia? We're going to visit Sydney, Melbourne and Canberra. Do you have any plans to visit New York? I'd love to but I think it would be expensive. What do you think would be expensive? I think the flight tickets. I think you should take advantage of the low season airfares. Do you like cold weather? Not really. Then, I suggest you come to New York in May or June. Apart from New York, what other places would you recommend? Boston, it's a historic city. I would like to visit the Freedom Trail. To be honest, I don't really know many tourist attractions in Boston. I need to run because I just noticed I am late for my next appointment. Take care in your trip. See you soon. Bye, see you. Good morning, Jennifer. How are you today? I'm great, thank you. Sure, where would you like to go? Do you enjoy warm or cold climates? Which type of travel do you think you would like the best? How much money is in your budget for this trip? Do you know how much you want to spend on this vacation? I can give you some brochures that could give you some ideas. It's my pleasure. Well, in my opinion, traveling by train is the safest. Apply for your passport several months before your trip. You can download an application. You need to go to a passport agency in your city. They will help you process it. The passport website lets you know what types of identification and pictures you must provide. You need one 2 inches by 2 inches color passport photo. The requirements for a visa vary from country to country. It is important you have an understanding of the country's various visa types and requirements, as they will vary drastically depending on whether you wish to travel as a temporary or permanent visitor. Airlines enforce all size and weight limits much more strictly now than in the past. You need to look up each individual airline online to get their restrictions.
In the USA, if you fly economy on a domestic flight, you usually have to pay for checked baggage. On international flights, you usually have a two bag limit with weight restrictions. All airlines will allow you to bring one small carry on that will fit under the seat. International airlines may have different restrictions for carry on luggage. Keep it light in regard to what you pack. Figure out what you absolutely need and leave the rest at home. Pack lightly. You don't want to haul around or pay fees on things that aren't essential. Definitely. I would like to visit different places, experience other cultures, and try different food and dishes. I went to Milan. It is in the north part of Italy. I went there with my wife last year. We wanted to relax and also go shopping. We stayed there for almost nine days. It depends on which city you go to. In the north part of Italy, it's not that expensive compared to Rome, for example. Rome is an expensive city. The best place I have visited so far is Maldives. Sometimes it's me. Sometimes it's my wife who makes travel decisions. Actually, my friends suggested to go to Italy and we decided to join them. Well, we go to Italy twice a year. I like going to Italy because of the culture and the distance. It only takes us four hours to get there by plane. I prefer both. I think there are really beautiful places in France. Yes, I went there in July last year. We went to Madrid. I think so. With the presence of modern technology, I think travel has become safer in recent years. Just give me food, so I can keep going. I want to go to Norway next year. Low cost air travel allows us to save money. However, with low cost air travel, our convenience and comfort may suffer. I prefer to organize everything myself. If you choose a travel agency, it is more expensive than doing it yourself, and it is not that flexible.
It depends on which country I'm going to. When I went to Italy, I bought some Italian cosmetics. It depends on the brand. Local brands are not very expensive. Skiing down a mountain. I like summer holidays. Holidays for me are just for relaxing, spending time with my family, and shopping as well. I usually travel for about three weeks, sometimes even one. I've been to Germany, Portugal, and Ireland, and I spent three weeks in each country. I prefer taking vacations with my close family. Definitely Asia. I love Japan and South Korea. I hope to have the opportunity to visit other Asian countries in the future. I take a short trip once a year. I like traveling the most, but maybe my parents. After their retirement, they travel several times a year. They went to Greece several months ago. Last month, they went to a city in France with beautiful natural scenery. No, I don't have plans for the summer, but I'm going to Australia in October. We're going to visit Sydney, Melbourne, and Canberra. I'd love to, but I think it would be expensive. I think the flight tickets. Not really. Apart from New York, what other places would you recommend? I would like to visit the Freedom Trail. To be honest, I don't really know many tourist attractions in Boston. Take care in your trip. See you soon. Good morning, Peter. I am doing well. And you? I need help planning my vacation. I haven't decided where to go yet. I should like to go to the hills for a change. I am thinking that I might enjoy a tropical climate. A train ride across the country. I didn't hear you. Please could you tell me again? I have about $2,000 to spend on this trip. Thank you.
Which method of travel do you consider safest? I've never had a passport before and need to know what to do to get one. After I fill it out, where do I take it? Is the application the only thing that I will need to bring? What if I am going to a country that requires a visa? I don't know how much luggage I can take on the plane with me. I just wonder what the general rules are. What about international flights? What about carry-on bags? Do you have any words of wisdom for travelers in regard to luggage? What do you think is the most important thing to remember when packing for a trip? Do you like to travel? Where did you go on your last holiday? Wow, that's great. I've never been to Italy. Who did you go with? Sounds good. How long did you stay? Isn't it expensive there? I've heard it's really expensive in Italy. What's the best place you've ever visited? Who makes travel decisions in your family? Was that your first time in Italy? Twice a year? Wow, that's quite often, actually. And why do you prefer going to Italy that often? I see. 
Do you prefer visiting other countries or traveling in France? Have you been to Spain? Which city did you visit? Has travel become safer in recent years? How important is eating well to you when you are on vacation? What countries would you like to visit in the future? What are the pros and cons of low-cost air travel? Do you prefer going on a package tour or a tour you organize and book yourself? Yes, you're right. Do you usually travel with a lot of luggage or do you like to travel light? Great. So was it expensive? What type of vacation activity sounds like the most fun? What kind of holidays do you like? Do you like warm or cold weather? What is the longest journey you've ever made? Who do you prefer to take vacations with? What's the best place you've been to? How often do you take short trips? Who in your family travels the most? What was the last place your parents visited? Do you have any plans for the summer? Which cities are you going to visit in Australia? Do you have any plans to visit New York? What do you think would be expensive? I think you should take advantage of the low season airfares. Do you like cold weather? Then, I suggest you come to New York in May or June. Boston, it's a historic city.
I need to run because I just noticed I am late for my next appointment. Bye, see you.